So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at the as keyword in TypeScript and hopefully clarify what it is, what it does, and when you might use it in your code. So quite simply, the as keyword is a type assertion, which tells TypeScript that even though it thinks a particular variable or function, it does something or has a particular type, we're actually telling TypeScript to override that and use a particular type that we specify with the as keyword. So it's probably best to explain that with a bit of an example. So with our user class that we've been looking at in the previous tutorials, uh, we've got one property on there which is skills, which is an array of either strings or numbers. And that's fine, we can pass in uh, these values down here like TypeScript and 1234 if we need to. But let's imagine we had a function which just returns a simple boolean true or false whether the user has the TypeScript skill. So this is a bit contrived, but just bear with me. So if we say that the user has TypeScript and that actually takes an argument, which is a list of skills. So let's just say list of skills and we want that to be an array of strings because we're going to be doing a string comparison. So uh, with that list of strings, actually let's just return a list of skills uh, dot includes and just include whether that includes the uh, TypeScript uh, string. So this will only work with strings because we're calling the includes function and checking for a specific string. So we don't really want any numbers inside of there. Um, but if we were to call this function as it is at the moment with the uh, skills that have been created on the user object, we'll get a problem because we're expecting uh, an array of strings. So just to demonstrate that, so on this user object we've created down here, if we call the has TypeScript function and then pass in the list of skills. Again, this is probably something that you wouldn't normally do, but let's just illustrate uh, how this problem might uh, occur for us. So when we try and call this has TypeScript function, we're actually getting an, a compilation error with TypeScript because we're actually passing in an array of either strings or numbers, which is what is defined on user.skills, whereas the parameter will only accept an array of strings. Now, if you know your JavaScript, you know that this code will be fine no matter what uh, type of data is passed in. It could be the array could contain strings, objects, numbers, whatever, and the includes function will work fine. It will just go through and it will look for the string of TypeScript and ignore any other type of data in there. So we are pretty safe to actually pass in any type of data. But what we can do to avoid the compilation error in TypeScript is to say that user.skills is definitely an array of strings, even though it might not be. So we can say it's as a string array. So we can see we don't get any TypeScript compilation errors now. And if we were to run this code, the uh, has TypeScript method on the class would return uh, true for us in this instance. And the underlying JavaScript that we'll run will obviously just try and uh, check the numbers or any other types of data that are in the array uh, to see if they equal TypeScript. Um, but because that is something that's permitted in JavaScript, we won't get any uh, runtime errors. So there's a bit of thought that needs to go into when you use the as keyword. Um, this is obviously a bit of an unusual example, uh, but hopefully it illustrates uh, when you would maybe use the as keyword to uh, cast or assert that certain types of data within your classes and your code uh, is of a certain type. But it can be very powerful when you've got similar classes or interfaces which match or are inherited from each other and you want to say that a specific type of data that you're working with uh, matches a certain type to make sure that all of the code uh, that is using that data uh, works as expected. So it's just an example of when you might use the as keyword in TypeScript. That's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.